Hi, Suhas. So, you know, a few years ago, I sold everything. I went to RV living. I downsized into tiny. Um, you could call it tiny living. You could call it RV lifestyle. You could call it all kinds of other things. And what I didn't know, and I thought you might like to know if you're thinking about doing this, is where do you put your clothes? Behind me is where I put my clothes, and I'll show you that in a minute. If you don't have a lot of storage, now, like in an RV, a fifth wheel, for instance, there are a few, there's a closet, and there are a few drawers and cupboards. However, unless you're completely by yourself, you only get half of that, at least only half of that. So if you have a partner, you only... You know, the, the, time, the amount of space you have for your hanging clothes is probably a little bit more than that. If I open it up any wider, you can't, can't tell. So it was about three and a half feet wide, if I open my hands up, is a closet. So if there's two of you in that, you have half of that. There was three drawers in mine. So a drawer and a half, there is a little bit of a space above the closet, a shelf. There is, um, there was a corner cupboard that had some storage space. And that's it for the bedroom. And you really need the other storage spaces inside that RV for other things like kitchen, bathroom, towels, sheets, all that other kind of stuff. So let's go back to the clothes and I will show you what I do. And I still do this because I still live small. Even though I'm not in an RV anymore, I still live small. And I hope to go back to that at some point in time. So here we go. So this is what I used to put my clothes in. These are called packing cubes. Uh, some of them are from Eagle Creek. Some of them are REI. And I have to tell you, I purchased them all at REI. I got them a lot of them on sale. And so let's get them open and I'll show you what I have. Okay, here we go. So th they come in all shapes and sizes. This is a very small one. This came in a three pack. I have three green ones. Um, this is the large... And this would be at the medium in that. I have it somewhere else. And, and the small. And then these are the Eagle Creek ones. And I just leave them open. You can see that sitting in my closet. This one, this was an REI. And this is, I keep my tank tops in it. Oh, take that back. I keep other things in it. And it... Let me show you this. This is really cool because it shrinks down to a single. And I originally had my socks in there, but I have more socks than I do underwear. So um, so then you unzip it and it becomes twice the height. It's really cool. Here's my socks one. This is the large of the Eagle... Eagle Creek. Did I see Eagle Crest before? Huh? I meant Eagle Creek. On my tank tops, this one is an REI. And this one has it comes with a card and it says it will hold 18 pairs of socks or 15 t-shirts or eight pairs of pants. And then it says it belongs to an REI. I We'll be surprised if it holds eight pairs of pants, depending on the size of the person and the kind of pant. But we'll see. Whoops. Let's get that over there. And then this one has my PJs in it. And I just leave them rolled back for every day. This orange one, this is holding my winter stuff. So the winter leggings and so on and so forth. So as far as 
things that don't get hung up. This is how I got around the small living, the tiny spaces, because if you have to, you can zip them up and you can stack them. So you still have a lot of space. And it's, um, I like it. I almost like it better than, than a dresser because I can pick up and go anytime I need. And I have a few spares, a few empties. So if I'm only going for a couple of days, I can just take this. They have handy little handles and off you go. So hanging stuff, when you only have this much room, I went to, did some research and went to these really skinny hangers. They're, they're called velvet coated. They're, um, it feels like velvet and things don't slip off of them either. This is like the jacket, the coat hanger and you have a dress, hanger, sweater, and it's got a little notch here. And then I, because I wanted to match and be black, I found these really thin pant hangers. And they're okay. Um, I've had a few come apart, but they really are, for what, for what I paid for them, they're okay. I have way more summer clothes than I do winter clothes. And I have about, about 30 to 35 hangers for summer and a few less for winter. So that gives you an idea about how much will you can hold into, whoa, the light's going nuts with this camera. Sorry about that. That'll give you an idea about how much space you're gonna have. You could probably do 35 hangers for each, winter and summer. And they won't hang up at the same time. That is 35 for your half of the closet, if you have a half. And then 35 for the other half. And I use a Rubbermaid, I think it's Rubbermaid, and it is a sealed container. And all my winter stuff will go in there. So bear in mind, depending on how heavy your stuff is, and that includes um, the few sweaters that I have and does not include coats. Coats are separate from all of this, not even counting the 35 hangers. They probably should be, but I didn't include them. So girl has to have a few extra clothes. What can I say? And I'm looking at paring down again because I want to be even smaller. So that's it for the hanging stuff. Remember, you can't, if you have a lot of clothes, you cannot take everything in an RV or take everything if you decide to live small. So take your favorite ones. And if you don't know what your favorite ones are, turn all of your clothes, one like, the, like with the hanger, the open part of the hanger hanging out. And as you use it, turn it so it's in. And at the end of a month, or end of three months, whatever you want to give yourself. And this is for definitely just for your summer, do it and your winter clothes. So do it for each one separately. The ones that are not turned back around the way they're supposed to be, get rid of. If you haven't worn them in three months, let them go in the three months of the season that you're in. Remember that, not just three months in the season because winter and summer you're some stuff you're not going to wear for six months and that goes without saying so that being said I think that pretty much covers how to do clothing with tiny living I almost forgot my scarves and belts so you can get the same velvet thin hanger in one of these this is how it looks from the other side and then I use it to hang my scarves my belts and um, they stay thin it's compact doesn't take up a lot of space 
and it works really well for me. There's little hooks here. You don't put it through the holes. You can, if they're really large scarves, you could put it through the holes, but there's hooks here, see? Like this. There's hooks, so you can put your belt right through there. Just one more great little trick for living small, tiny house, RV, whatever you want to call it. There you go. That's a wrap. Thank <laughs> you.